Which do you think is better, Paradox or Powdia? Let's go have a look. Welcome back to the Chase Card, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, YouTubers and YouTubettes. Today, I'm going to be opening up eight blister packs, four Paradox Rift, and four Powdia Evolved. Small sample size of each, just to see which one can deliver the goods, which one has the best hits. Now, these two are arguably two of the best regular sets from the Scarlet and Violet era so far. So we're going to crack open a few blister packs, have some fun, see if we can pull some hits, and see which set is the best from a small sample size. Let's go. Before I crack open these blister packs, guys, what I really want to do is just quickly go through the top three chase cards in Paradox Rift and Powder Evolved that we really want to be on the lookout for as we crack open these packs. So just quickly, quick brief summary. Quick brief summary. We've got the Iono here. The um, This isn't the main chase card, but there's two Ionos in Powder Evolved. This is one of them. This goes for about $33, this chase card. And in a, uh, actually in a PSA 10, in a PSA 10, this card sells for about, I mean, we've got a sales there of $125 and $135 Australian. So probably about 80 bucks American, this Iono. Uh, let's close this off. We've got the Magikarp is one of the big chase cards in Powder Evolved. On TCG Player, this card's about uh, $65 currently. And in a PSA 10, let's close off that, sorry. In a PSA 10, Magikarp, Magikarp has sold recently for 395 American dollars, basically 600 Australian dollars, uh, the Magikarp in a PSA 10. So that's the second biggest chase card, arguably the biggest chase card from Powder Year Evolved. I think it's outselling the Iono now in a PSA 10. Uh, speaking of the Iono, this is the number one chase card from Powder Evolved. Again, arguably it's the Magikarp now, but uh, on TCG Player, Iono is the number one chase card from Powder Evolved. $84 currently selling raw. If we go to a PSA 10, 225 American dollars. So actually the, the Magikarp is outselling the, the Iono, and I would say is the number one chase card is the Magikarp. But if I can get one of these, I'd be very happy. Alrighty guys, let's rock and roll. Let's rip some packs. I'm super keen to see which one of these sets performs today from such a small sample size. I've got my Powder and my Paradox Blisters. Let's crack these bad boys open. Let's start with the Paldia. For Paldia, number one blister pack is getting opened right now. Forgive my voice today, my voice is a little husky. Just getting over a little 48 hour bug, I think. So uh, that's why my voice is a bit husky. Okay, Powder Year Evolved, first packet from eight blister packs today. All right, code card. We don't need that. All right, first pack magic, fingers crossed, let's go. Powder Year Evolved, are you gonna kick Paradox Rift ass. Okay, well, we don't need to put that there. Let's just put that down here. So let's rock and roll. Move my microphone out of the way. There we go, that's good. And we get the Pikachu. Qfant. We've got the uh, Palisand. Raichu. Got the Gothitelle. Reverse Hollow Snover. The Keditan or the Seditan, I think that's the Keditan reverse holo and just a regular holo and an energy card. We don't need that. So nothing from that first pack really. First pack of Powder Evolved was a non-event. Non-event. So let's grab the second pack of Powder Evolved today. Oh, I ripped this blister pack open. Okay. Alrighty, let's go guys, let's go, let's go. Remind me to fast forward this bit. Alright, here we go. Code card. Code card for the viewers at home if you are so inclined. Okay, we have the Watrowl. Tinker Tink. Shrewdle. Glimmant. Mabostiff. 
Quaxwell, Segoro, Reverse Holo Deli Bird, Reverse Holo Quaxley. Oh, nice. We've got the uh, Paldean Claude Sire EX. Paldean Claude Sire EX. Not a big chase card. Quite a nice shine, if you can see that there. That's, uh, that's technically a hit. Let's leave her up. I don't think it's worth much. Maybe a couple of bucks. A couple of dollars. Nothing worth uh, getting excited about. But uh, let's just put that there. That is technically a hit. Our first hit from Paldea Evolved. Pack number three from Paldea Evolved. Who will reign supreme today from these eight sister packs? Will it be Paldea? Will it be Paradox? <clears throat> let's find out. Let's keep moving. I really, uh, I really would love that magic card. I mean, who wouldn't? That magic card from Paldea Evolved looks insane. Not usually a magic card fan, but in this particular case, uh, code card. Okay, come on, give me something good here. Give me one of those Ionas or the magic card. I've opened enough bloody uh, Paldea Evolved to warrant to. Um, basically warrant a decent hit. Come on, give me something. We got the reverse holo Makahita. Oh and the Fairy Giraffe. We've pulled a couple I've pulled a couple of these now. Spirit Tomb Holo and an energy card. So that's a hit. Not the best hit. Again it's only worth a few dollars. Why do these draft things in the back look so bloody creepy? Look at that. Gosh, they are freaky looking things. All right, let's sleeve her up. How many have we done now? Is that, I think that's the third packet in. Nothing major yet, but a couple of little hits. A couple of little cool cards. Last pack for Paldea Evolved, and then we'll be moving on to the Paradox Rift. Hopefully, hopefully we can jag, jag something really cool. Both of these sets have um, really really solid depth like i mean there is there is uh there's over a dozen cards in each of these sets that i think is over over 15 dollars so we just want one one of those would make us happy all right we've got the uh the any the code card okay all right here we go let's do it last pack magic for the powder year of old we've got grogun rockadi Magnemite, I prefer Vegemite, but Magnemite will do. Phalanx, Arctabax, Giacomo, Tail and Flame, Fletchling, Reverse Holo, Reverse Holo Sandy Gas, and uh, Baxcalibur Holo. All right, nothing to write home about in those four blister packs. I have a feeling Paradox Rift could uh, come out on top here. So, uh... Let's quickly look at the three top chase cards from Paradox Rift before we hit these four blister packs. Paradox Rift, we have the Gold Ango. This is the third most valuable card in Paradox Rift. This card is currently selling raw, according to TCG Player, for $34, $34, 35 raw. These are all American prices that I'm going through. Uh, now, I, I had trouble finding sales results in PSA 10, for this particular gold ango uh so we've got a few honorable mentions here up here psa 10 222 australian i think that's about 140 150 american dollars in a psa 10. so that's the third most valuable card in paradox rift iron valiant ex second most valuable card in paradox rift we'd be really looking to pull one of these big three chase cards from paradox rift uh if you know fingers crossed we could get lucky I'm only opening a small sample size today just to compare the two from a from a basic standpoint. But Iron Valiant EX, 50, uh, $46 raw. It's come back a little bit in the last couple of months. $46 raw for the Iron Valiant EX from Paradox Rift. Selling for $127 American dollars in a PSA 10. So not, not as strong as the Iono and the Magikarp from Powdia Evolved which is why I personally think Paldea Evolved is a better set. Arguably, Paradox Rift has more depth, more chase cards at a higher value, but I think Paldea Evolved and Paradox Rift are pretty neck and neck. Number one chase card for Paradox Rift, the Roaring Moon EX. 
The special illustration rare Roaring Moon EX from Paradox Rift is the number one chase card. We'll be looking to pull this one. Again, fingers crossed, we could get lucky, huh? $75 raw this card in a PSA 10, going for $280 American dollars. Could be a lucky day. Stay tuned, let's find out. Let's crack open these packs and have some fun. Okay, guys, moving on to the Paradox Rift. We've done the Paldea. We've got four blister packs left of Paradox Rift. So uh, let's break these bad boys open and uh, see... See if it's got the measure on Power Deer Evolved. I mean, let's face it, let's be honest, when you're opening only eight packets, it's such a small sample size. It's unlikely that uh, you're going to get anything major, but you never know. You could jag a hit from... You could open one packet and jag a hit. So that's what we're trying to do here. Just a bit of fun, just to compare. Compare apples with apples. Code card for Paradox Rift. This is the very first packet of Paradox Rift I've opened, actually. So let's see what it's going to store. Seedra, Magby, Vanillite, Oracorio, Techno Raider. We've got the Steeny, Countercatcher, Reverse Holo Elekid, Reverse Holo Natu, and a regular Holo Glossopod. Energy card, see you later. We don't need that crap. All right, let's get this second blister pack open. We'll clean this mess up later. All right, second blister pack from Paradox Rift and uh, sixth, sixth blister pack in total. We've done the four Paldea. We're gonna do the four Paradox and this is packet number two for Paradox Rift. Can it deliver the goods today? Let's hope so. Larry. Larry, I've literally never heard of Larry. Your mask. Surskit. Whismer. Tulip. Don. Is there something back there? I thought I saw some shine. Don Dozo. Chantel. Chakadet. Reverse holo. Technical machine. Devolution reverse holo. And a regular holo. Y Veltel. Paradox Rift. Two packets in, and we have nothing so far. Blister pack number three. Come on, baby. Let's do this. Come on. Give us a hit, Paradox Rift. Show us what you're made of. Let's go. Okay, third packet of Paradox Rift. We have your code card. I think some of these code cards can be worth a little bit of money, but um, I'm really bothered with it, so... Maybe in future I'll look back and regret throwing them all away, huh? Uh, Porygon 2, Octillery, Golbat, Professor Satter's Vitality. Do they want to make these names any longer? It's already a tongue twister for me getting these names out. Minior, Crocolor. That's the uh, revert. Is it? No, that, I think this is. What is this card? I haven't. I, I need to do some more homework into Paradox Rift. So I don't think that's a reverse holo. So we've got the Future Booster Energy. I'll have to look into that, see what, uh, that's like a new style of card they've got in this Paradox Rift set. And a, uh, we've got the uh, Reverse Holo um, Zubat. Oh, and a Goldengo EX, followed by an Energy card. So Goldengo EX, our first hit. Not a major hit. Might be worth a few bucks, three, four, five bucks. But the Goldengo got some nice shine, baby. So we've got one hit from three packets so far of Paradox Rift and two hits from Paldea Evolved. So far, Paldea Evolved is technically winning. Technically, Paldea Evolved is in front and I think is a really strong set, Paldea Evolved. I think I'd lean towards Paldea, but Paradox Rift is still sort of too new. We, I don't know if the prices are going to drop a bit more. They usually do when the sets first get released. Uh, I think it's been out for a couple of months now. So last pack magic. Fingers crossed. Last pack magic. This is our last Paradox Rift. Can we get a second hit and compete with Paldea? Wismer. Flamigo. Porygon. Durant, Technical Machine, Turbo, 
Energize. Can we get these names any freaking longer? This is killing me. All right, one trio. Reverse holo. Hon Edge. Oh! Oh! We've got a Roaring Moon EX. Secret rare, I think. Oh my god. I think this is a special illustration rare. It's got the three gold stars. I'm pretty sure that's a special illustration rare. Roaring Moon EX. Paradox Rift delivered. Paradox Rift has just shot the freaking lights out. Pulled the rug out from under Power the Year Evolved. Oh, Roaring Moon EX. That is a banging card. This is one of the chase cards. It's not, it's not one of those top three that I mentioned, but... I'll have to go back and have a look in there and uh, maybe I'll put the, the prices on screen after I edit this video. I'm not sure exactly what that's worth, but this is one of the chase cards um, from Paradox Rift. So there you go, four blister packs of Paradox Rift. First time I've ever cracked any Paradox Rift open and we've got a decent hit. The Roar in Moon X. Look at that shine. Can you see that shine? That is freaking awesome. Yeah, baby. Woo! Okay, that is sick. Oh man, I'm thrilled with that. I hope it's worth some decent dollars. But anyway, it's a good looking card. Alrighty. And then we've got the Hollow Espathra after that. So let's sleeve this up. Let's sleeve this up. Roaring Moon EX. Let's review our hits, guys. Let's review our hits. So, we've got the two from Paldea Evolved. Okay, let's put this as We've got the two from Paldea Evolved. Not worth a lot. I've pulled this like three times now, but I've opened that many Paldea Evolved. And then we've got the uh, Clodsire EX. So Paldea Evolved, two hits from four blister packs. Paradox Rift, two hits from four blister packs. So we're shooting at about 50% on each of those sets. However, I'm pretty sure this Roaring Moon EX is worth a lot more than all of these four cards, or well, the other three cards combined, rather. Um, and that's a nice looking gold anger EX. I don't think it's worth a lot, but it's a nice card. So I have to say, I hate to admit it because I love Powdia, but I think Paradox Rift just won. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time on the Chase Card. Bye for now.